Ah, geek out. Pinkies up. Time for another geek out book club. I'm Sam, and I'm drunk. Don't don't burst a blood vessel with those pinkies up. All the blood rushes to your pinkies. Yeah, (laughs) but uh, (laughs) does that happen? That has blood rushing to your pinky. Yeah, if you're hanging upside down, probably by your pink. Okay, no, by your upside down. Right, fair enough. So this week we're talking about China Cluxton Flores's um, Scooter Girl, which is out in comic book shops everywhere on Comicsology on Wednesday, February fifteenth. Um, you know, it's getting the ringmaster treatment, kind of like Blue Monday is now that she's moved it over to Image Comics, and it looks gorgeous. Oh yes, those sumptuous colors. Um, what do you think? It's a joy, man. You know, we we loved having her on to talk Blue Monday, and we loved having her on to talk Scooter Girl. Um, and like you were saying in the interview or yeah, in the interview, it's kind of this kind of in this way, this uh, ex- extended version of Blue Monday in terms of growing up a little more and, and what you're doing, um, I guess, in your 20s. Also, the mod culture was a big fucking plus because all I think about with mod stuff is Quadrophenia. Um, well, considering like the first volume of Blue Monday has got the kids are all right. Sub-tool. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the kids are all right. Um but yeah, no, I mean it's great. Look, she she has she's got that whole kind of, oh, I've I've felt that shit before, or I've done that before, or I wish that happened before yeah. thing, which is something that you you know we we felt during Blue Monday as well, you know. And Blue Monday just, more so because I was I would I like to think I was never I was certainly never a womanizing asshole. Well, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe just an asshole. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. But the uh, yeah, but I, I just like Blue Monday, you've got the playlist. Yeah, with Scooter Girl, and I've been listening to like that playlist like some shit lately because that is, I mean, she's got Shocking Blue. She's <laughs> like got. <some> re- shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've always let that go, but I'm always like, what does that mean? <laughs> like some shit. I'm not the only one who says that, right? I mean, okay, yeah. I mean, again, most of most of that type of stuff doesn't make any sense. Like I said, I, I'm fine with it. Yeah. But fucking, like for some reason yeah. right now, I just thought of it and I was like, like some shit. <laughs> yeah. Fucking A. What exactly is fucking A? A, man. Who knows? <laughs> fucking A, man. Yeah. Fucking A, like some shit. <laughs> but you know what ain't? Well, no, this is, I mean, this, this is. You're saying yeah, yeah, like I'm, some shit. I'm listening to the playlist, like some shit. <laughs> I mean, it's got deep, deep purple. Yeah. It's got, you know, the uh, Spencer Davis uh okay but they're 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 awesome I'll, I'll i'll send you some stuff they're on apple music you don't have apple music no okay all right they're on spotify okay okay cool okay <laughs> but this is uh this is a little more self-contained than blue monday blue monday still technically going yeah. right yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. this is just like six issues of awesome it's mm-hmm. would you consider it darker more funny than blue monday i mean darker yeah I guess, you know, um, it goes, I mean, for those of you at home who don't know, it follows this, basically this cad, this like who has basically all of life just handed to him. Yeah. And, uh, he meets the one girl that, that trips him up a scooter girl, in fact. Mm -hmm. And it's, it kind of explores that, you know, what does he do when he's not on his game all because of, you know, this one person. So I think that's, I think given that prompt, it's a little darker. There's a little more. She's she's not afraid to embrace kind of the hedonism within it mm-hmm. um, because, again, this dude just, like, bangs chicks on the reg and mm-hmm. is given every hand. He's, like, the team captain of, like, every team. He probably plays chess really well. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily put team captain of sports and chess <laughs> chess in the same sentence, but sure, why not? For this, yeah, we'll let it, we'll let, we'll let it He can do Ashton Archer. He can throw like, a mean spiral and he'll fucking end your chess life in, like, two moves. <laughs> That's not even possible, but yeah. he'll do it. He's that good. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> we haven't put the pieces out yet. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. But yeah. no, it's it's a fantastic book. Yeah. If you like Blue Monday, even, I mean, liking Blue Monday is not a requirement at all no. for this. This is very much its own thing. But it has moments of that feel. You know what I mean to it? Yeah. Like, you Especially know. given the love of mod culture yeah. both. Yeah. And, and, and talking to her, luckily enough, you know, we've been lucky enough to talk to her twice, like, that passion is there, you know what I mean? Yeah. She still gets excited about talking about that stuff for different bands and, all, and everything. And it shows in her work, shows in her art, shows in her words, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, check it out again. Out everywhere February 15th. 
in comic book shops everywhere. You get that whole new color scheme, and it's just it's a gorgeous book. And listen to some of the music that she listened there, because that's yep. it. Really, you can dance to that stuff. The jam, yeah, the jam's in there. Absolutely. Jam. Um, yeah. So this has been another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. Keep reading. This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.